applesauce in an Instapot. It doesn't take much to impress me, I guess. I don't know anything about canning, so don't take my canning advice. I don't know why because, but just because. Look, watch. I'm sure that my canning friend will comment to this below. Oh, come on. Yeah, this just made my life so much easier. The apples are flipping. I don't know where that came from. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, look at this. We're going to do this again today. We're going to make applesauce in the Instant Pot. I got this brilliant idea this morning because I have all these apples and I thought, hmm, let's make a video on how to make applesauce in an Instapot. Applesauce in an Instapot? It's got to work, right? I mean, why wouldn't it? I'm going to get cutting these apples so we can get this delicious applesauce video going. If you've watched my other videos with apples, I hate cutting apples. I hate it. I absolutely despise cutting apples. But we have honey crisp and we have gala. So I'm just going to combine them together because I can do that because I don't know why because, but just because. These apples are so stinking small. Good grief. Don't know what we're gonna get out of this because these are like the smallest apples I've ever seen in the world, actually. Well, not really. But look at this. I'm gonna peel, I need an apple peeler. Yeah, that's what I need. Wonder if a potato peeler would work on apples. You know I'm gonna try that, right? Yeah. I'm going to try that. Cause this is ridiculous. We'll just see what we can get out of here. We have a lot of new members in our hashtag let's instant pot playlist. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link that below. There's quite a few videos in there too. If you wanna go watch them or this video and if you want to buy an instapot you really should because especially if you're like a young mom or you have kids at home and you work this thing is really good for that i really wish that i had this when my kids were still at home i would be using it for that okay i'm gonna go get my potato peeler and see if that works potato peeler apple let's see oh hey look at this Yep, it's working. Watch. So all, oh, yeah, this just made my life so much easier. Tips with Michelle. Got a potato peeler? Peel your apples. The only thing we're going to have to do is cut, get the seed out the middle. Cut it in half. Look at that. Perfection. My life just got so much easier today. Woohoo, that makes me happy. This is going to go by quicker than I thought. So I'm just gonna cut that nasty seed out of there and maybe I should save some. Some of the seeds. Can you grow an apple from an apple seed? I don't see why you couldn't. Or do you have to have a graft from a tree? I don't know. Look at, go right across the top there. Look at this. Look at, look, watch. Now, now that I have apple peels everywhere, they really are too. Wonder if my dog will eat those. Like they're on the floor, they're on the cupboard. Oh, yes. So anyway, back to our playlist. If you want to add a video with your Instant Pot, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular, or it can be spectacular if you want it to be. Because, you know, look at me, I'm doing it, and I'm not the greatest cook in the world. If I can do it, so can you. I don't see why not. I wish I would have thought of this 10 years ago. Okay, 20 years ago or 30 years ago. There we go again. <laughs> it works. My dog is again growling at something. Don't, probably nothing out the door. Macy, come here. I'm just going to keep peeling that. Woo! That one flew up in the air. Just going to keep peeling these things and then I'll cut them up. Now when I'm done with all these apple peels, the ones that my dog doesn't eat, we're going to we move it down here. Now all these apple peels are going to end up going in my compost pile, aka the worm farm. Well, we're going to have apples like flying everywhere and I better watch the tips of my fingers too. But yes, I have a little worm farm going. 
And when we go fishing, we get the little apples, or the little apples, yeah, okay. We get the worms out of the worm farm, and we go fishing with them. This is so easy to do, look. Who would have thought? Jeez. It doesn't take much to impress me, I guess. So all you moms out there that hate peeling apples for your kids, my kids always wanted their apples peeled, even when they were in high school. Can you peel my apple? Can't peel your own? Well, you do it better. Oh, that reminds me. Funny story. Kool-Aid. My kids drank a lot of Kool-Aid when we were growing up, when they, when they were growing up. And my oldest daughter really liked Kool-Aid, but hated making it. So what she would do is tell my other daughter, her younger sister, you make the Kool-Aid so much better than I do. Can't you make it? And my youngest daughter just, I'll oh, drop that one. My youngest daughter just thought that was, oh, yeah, I can make it for you. She never really did figure out that it, her sister was just too lazy to make it. I'm like, oh, would you make your own Kool-Aid? No. If she's going to do it, let's let her do it. You make it so good. I'm like, oh my gosh. I used to do that with my dad in the dishwasher because my dad liked the dishwasher loaded a certain way. He finally caught on, but I would always say, you know, I really don't get it. Can you tell me that again? Of course, he would show me again. Finally, one day, he realized, oh, no, I'm not showing you again. I know, I know what you're doing now. I'm like, got you. My husband's going to be so happy. Hey, we have applesauce for dinner. Don't have anything else, but we have applesauce. Okay, we got one more bag to do. And are they turning brown? No, a little bit. Not really, but I'm not really worried about it. If I was going to dehydrate these, I would like either put lemon juice on them or this other stuff that I have that I forget what the name is right now. Fruit Fresh. I would put some of that on there. And if I had a lot of apples, I would can this when I actually knew how to do that. I have a lot of tomatoes coming out of my garden. And I'm going to make a big pot of sauce and can that when I know how to do that. My husband has this outdoor propane cooker thing. Which I'm probably going to um, can outside. That's probably the better decision. All right, these apples are just a little bit bigger. Who would have thought this works? This, fantastic. And you don't lose as much apple because you know when you peel apples with a knife, you end up taking like more skin off. Woo! Oh, did you see that? That was funny. You end up taking more skin off than you probably should. All right, so I'm gonna peel all these apples then cut them up i just don't have the patience to do this i don't think that's that's all but when apples are in season maybe i'll have to do this again and make a lot of applesauce or apple pie filling and just can that i have canned it like one or two things before well, really only peppers. Once they turned out really good, and then like once they didn't. I had to throw the whole batch of them away. Which I was kind of bummed out, because you know, it takes all that precious time growing. Ew, this one's kind of mushy. We won't use that one. All that precious time you take growing your little seedlings, and then the plants grow, and you water and care for them. You get all the weeds out of the garden, and you pick all the peppers, and you cut all the peppers, and they were hot, mind you. So, and did I use gloves? No, I didn't. I didn't. Not the first time. The second time I did. If you're going to cut hot peppers, wear gloves. Again, learn from my mistakes. Wear gloves when you cut hot peppers, because you will be regretting it. Your eyes will be burning because you're going to touch an eyeball. You, you're going to eventually. Or blow your nose. Then your nose is going to hurt. You know, it's just the whole ordeal. And that burns. I need to learn how to hold on to these apples a little better. Alright, we've got five more to go. And that one looks... That one's... This one's going to be nice to peel. When you make applesauce, I used to make it on the stove. I don't add sugar to my applesauce or I don't add cinnamon because I don't like 
cinnamon that much. I don't add anything, nothing. I add nothing to it. Oh, don't cut anymore. I may add some water in the bottom of this. I normally don't if I'm putting it on the stove. I don't add any water to it. I just let the apples cook down. But since I'm doing it in the instant pot, I might add a little water, not a lot. Oh, geez. The apples are flipping. I've never tried an apple peeler either. I wonder if an apple peeler would be better than this. Maybe I should get one of them. Do those work? I don't know. If they work, let me know because I might buy one if we do apples. I keep dropping the egg on apples. Ooh, that's kind of gross. That one will go right to the worms, which means I only have one more of these to do. All right, let's finish cutting these up. I just thought I had a camera problem. I had to check my footage, thought I lost it all. I didn't, lucky you. Let me get these all cut up here. That's a big hole for all them seeds in there. Quite a big hole. I have a few apples left, so I'm gonna get these cut up and then we will go over to the Instant Pot. Instant Pot, yep, got that. Apples, I've got about that much apples in there and in this bowl, I also put like a half a cup of water. When I rinsed the apples off, I just put a half a cup of water in here and all I'm gonna do is dump these in there I'm going to level them off in here. I'll show you. So I've got like that much apples. Maybe <laughs> a quarter of the pot. Just stick your finger in. Figure that out. So we're going to put the lid on here. Okay. I always have trouble doing this. Come on. Oh, come on. Nope. Listen to it. It's singing. It's singing. You know, I'm showing one. Why is this so damn hard for me? Oh, there. Okay. And then we want it on ceiling in the back. Make sure it's on ceiling. I'm going to pressure cook. Pressure cook. Let's see. Pressure cook. Push the button, Michelle. Every time I want to push the button, the pot slides. All right. There. There we go. Ten minutes. Oh. Yeah, let's go with ten. Since I don't know how many. There. See? It went with ten by itself. Since I don't know how long to do this. And again, there goes my dog. So I'm going to let this vent by itself for quite a while because I've never done this before. No, I didn't read the book or watch a video. This is all what I made up in my head today. Might work, might not work. Let's go with that and we'll be back and I'm gonna go see what the heck my dog's barking at. This has been done for 25 minutes and I've just been letting it sit here and now I've got my venti stick that I have from the garden. Or not the garden. Where did I get this? I was just in the garden. I didn't get this from the garden. I got this from the yard. Yeah. I don't have sticks in my garden. I don't know where that came from. Alright. Anyway. I'm going to vent this. Still don't like... You know, you just never know. Oh, good. There's nothing in there. That thing didn't pop up yet. Because that thing has to pop up. See this thing? That thing right there needs to pop up and it didn't pop up. Or does it go down? Maybe it goes down. Listen, it probably needs to go down, not up. I'm a moron. All right, moving on from this. Let's just open the pot and see what happens. Let's just do that, okay? Evidently, the thing needed to go down. All right, so we're going to pop the lid off of here, and hopefully we have a great creation. Look at there. And the lid sits right in there. Now look at, oh, look at this. So I think all I need to do is mash those down. Wow, they look so tender. Oh, this smell, this smells so good, you guys. All right, let me go find a masher. Well, evidently, I don't need a masher. Just need this and just stir it. Because I like chunky applesauce. So if I'll just continuously stir this until I get it the consistency that I want it. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Perfect applesauce. I'm a genius. When you have all the apples, when they all come in season and you want to do a big thing of applesauce to can, I mean, this is already going to be hot. I don't know anything about canning, so don't take my canning advice. But this is already going to be hot. And do you put hot applesauce into the canning jars? I'm sure that my canning friend will comment to this below. By the way, my canning friend, 
Page Family Home said, Peggy, I hope you're doing better. She had her knee operated on, and I just feel terrible for her. She's in a lot of pain, so we all still need to be praying for Peggy. Maybe when she's in my comments, you can tell her hi. Because I know she'll be there. Because she's my friend. Alright, I'm done talking now. I'm going to put some of this in the bowl. Look at... We made applesauce. And it worked. And this is probably really hot for me to taste, so... I'm pretty sure it's good. I didn't have lunch today. I'm sorry that you get to see the back of my arm. Alright, well, I'm going to let this cool off. We made applesauce in the instant pot and it turned out great if you like my video subscribe subscribe so you could get more of these videos you'll you don't want to miss any of these you really don't so subscribe come back for more and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>